UFC 303 will be headlined by Alex Pereira and Yuri Prohoshka in their rematch after Conor McGregor did pull out against Michael Chandler. I believe that fight will probably be rescheduled somewhere in the in the fall, maybe August or September, so may, maybe in a couple months. But this fight, I believe, was made on a few weeks' notice. I think Dana White, or at least I think Ariel was reporting that the UFC was looking at replacement fights just in case something happened with with Connor, which did end up happening. I think they got like probably like six weeks notice and they were told just about like a few weeks ago, maybe what, three weeks ago before last week cards. So they haven't had really any notice coming into this fight, which is very interesting. If you looked at both of their social medias, what it seems like they're doing. Yuri Pahashka has been training quite a bit and Alex Pereira seems like he's been vacationing quite a bit. So just getting into the stuff surrounding this fight, I think it's going to be very interesting, especially after Alex Pereira KO'd Yuri Prohaska. We can get into the stoppage maybe at some point, but kind of over it now. They got the rematch, so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see who wins in this one. But I did think the fight was stopped a little bit earlier. If you didn't know, I picked Alex Pereira in that first fight, and I'll, I'll kind of get into that in a second. But going into this fight, it seems like Yuri Prohaska is a little bit more prepared for a short-notice fight. I will say just based on his weight, I think the weight cut's going to be a little bit easier as well. I think Alex Perez said he's going to be, what, cutting 22 pounds going into this fight. So probably not anything crazy for Alex Pereira. I mean, you saw he was making middleweight, but that was with a, a pretty big camp. But light heavyweight seems to be his division. But we've also seen Alex Pereira come out and say, like, I need to take a break, which a break for Alex Pereira may be like six months, seven months or whatever, because he's been actually pretty active. I think he fought in what? uh april he fought what two months ago on ufc 300 so he's been pretty active especially recently but going into this fight yuri prohashka at least going into their first fight i will say and then i'll get into the fight in their first fight yuri prohashka the reason why i didn't pick him was because he had this crazy shoulder injury after the glover fight like he was supposed to fight who who's he he was supposed to have the rematch with Glover and then all that drama happened with the light heavyweight division. And then we actually finally got a champion in uh, Alex Pereira's and it was just a big fat mess, but he got injured after the Glover fight was out for a, about a year and a half. I guess it's more probably like a year because they're supposed to make that fight in like November or whatever, but he, he was out for a year. Dana was like hyping it as like one of the worst injuries they've ever seen, one of the worst shoulder injuries they've ever seen. And and what I, what my take is on Yuri is that he's a very much he rides the wave of momentum. Just his style just seems like um, the spinny shit, like just the wild stuff he does. Is it seemed like a very momentum based run, and just being off for a year and all the damage that he does take in his fights. I was a little bit worried to see what he would look like after taking a year of no damage, just being in a fight like that in the UFC, just feeling no momentum, feeling his style, just working that style, of course. It it, it seemed a little bit of a rough pick for him, which is why I went for Alex Pereira in that, in that first fight. But for this one, short notice, we got Yuri Prahash coming off a win against Alexander Rakic, which I think was actually a pretty good win. He was getting hit quite a bit early on i think he got hurt um early on in the fight as well but came back at the end of the first and then came back in the middle of the second round and ended up finishing rockage but i thought he, he kind of edged into that fight a little bit better than you would say like uh, alex per of course alex per is very dangerous um a little bit more calculated like when you see alex Pereira's fights it's more of damn this dude hits pretty hard like when is he gonna land that shot and that's kind of how it was in that yuri fight as well and all of alex Pereira's fight because he can never really read his face or anything like that but going into this one obviously the first fight the the leg kicks were a pretty big factor for alex Pereira. uh the leg kicks for rockets were a pretty big factor if you've seen uh, alexander rockets leg kicks, i don't know if he was taking a little bit off of it because rockets i think did have a pretty bad acl injury or, or or some kind of knee injury was out for like a, i think almost two years I will say. So I don't know if he's going as hard, but if you've seen some of Rakic's leg kicks, they're pretty pretty lethal, I will say. And Alex Pereira did sit down Yuri Prohashka in their first fight in the first round with a leg kick. But it seemed like after Yuri Prohashka did take down Alex Pereira, the leg kicks kind of stopped a little bit. Yuri Prohashka was kind of like, he's kind of stopping it a little bit more. I was getting worried with Yuri when he started reaching for him because it's always a worry when you put your arms down from your guard well i guess his, his arms are always kind of down I and mean, he's always open on the feet which is always a worry 
against a guy like Alex Pro with insane power, but it was a little bit of a worry. But the thing with Yuri Prohoshka is you just got to realize that, like, no matter how much damage he takes, physical damage on his limbs, I don't think he, he's, like, mentally going to stop because he's a very, I don't know what you would even call it, like, spiritual person. It just seems like he, he's motivated mentally. Like, nothing's going to stop him mentally. So I think he'll probably push through the pain if we're just being honest, especially on short notice. Like, what are we looking at Alex Pereira cardio wise? Because light heavyweight, it seems like he's been fine outside of that. What altitude fight against Jan Blachowicz was a really the only time at light heavyweight that we've seen Alex Pereira gas. This is on short notice. I will say that after Yuri Prohoshka did take him down in the first round, Alex Pereira did look a little bit sluggish. Like he, he looked like it looked like middleweight. Pereira where he just looked super sluggish like he missed the leg kinks and he's like he's moving very slow and Yuri Prohoshka landed a couple these punches before the end of the round and actually came out and had a really nice second round in my opinion I thought he was actually landing pretty good on Alex Pereira I think caught him at one point Alex Pereira missed his shots and I think what we saw from Yuri in that second round was some really good head movement like he read Pereira pretty good and Pereira was like over swinging on shots and Yuri Prohoshka had him up in some fence and was landing some good shots as well. And Alex Pereira does have a really good chin, especially at light heavyweight. I think light heavyweight is definitely Pereira's division, but on short notice, I'm going to have to go with Yuri Prohoshka here. And I, I don't know what other people are going to take for this fight because I feel like it could be all over the place. They obviously have the same reach. Yuri will be what, five years younger, almost six years younger. But I just think on a short notice fight, for Alex Pereira, who's been vacationing, hasn't really been training. I, I know all these guys are pretty much ready to go. Like it, it's only 22 pound weight cut for Alex Pereira on a few weeks notice. So it's not, it's not horrible, especially for Pereira. Like he can definitely make the weight, but I just think Giri Prashka is more ready to take this fight on short notice. He's been wanting this fight. He's been planning this fight. I know both of these guys have had the idea that they're going to be fighting each other for a while now. I think since UFC 300, I would say, but I just think Cardio wise, if Yuri Prohoshka goes out there wrestling, and I have said in my last video that anybody, because Alex, or I think Jamal Hill mentioned something about wrestling against Alex Pereira. At least I have like more weapons against Alex Pereira, and he, I don't think he even threw, did he even throw a punch against Alex Pereira, like land a punch. I think it was all leg kicks, but I did say like every single person that's tried to take down Alex Pereira has gotten slept or, or beaten into a decision. I think the only one was Jan Blahovich who made it to a decision, but. I think if Yuri Prohoshka actually goes down and tries to take down Alex Pereira early, I know that was the reason why he got finished in the in this first fight that they did have was because he got rocked and went for a takedown and then kind of fell back on his back. But in the first round, he had some really good success. I think he actually tired out Alex Pereira pretty, pretty nicely, and it kind of opened up Alex Pereira's guard a little bit more and slowed him down and made him be a little bit more calculated, stop some of the leg kicks a little bit more. I think that could work for Yuri Prohoshka, especially on short notice here. I really do like that game plan. And I wonder what Pereira is going to come out and do here because you see him as like a more calculated guy, like even in the Izzy fights. I know I know he was much more bogged down, but you, you saw like the difference. Izzy's a little bit more active with the jab and leg kick, which is pretty much all he, all he throws. And uh, Alex Pereira is a little bit more calculated landing those big shots. And that's just kind of his style. I don't know if he can, like, how much are the, the the calf kicks of Alex Pereira going to be helpful here? Like, it's always been a thing for Pereira. Like, obviously, he sat down Yuri in that first round. I don't know if it would make sense for Pereira to even invest. Like, I'm, I'm saying, like, Pereira's style is the calf kick. And, and the way his, I don't know, his hips are or his stance is, it, it hides the leg kick pretty well, which is why it works so good. But I will say, like all that stuff invests in the later rounds. And I don't see this fight going to the later rounds. If anything, I, I just see Yuri taking him down, tiring him out in the first round. And I think Pereira becomes instantly more hittable with being a little bit more tired. His stance um, is a little bit more open. He becomes a little bit more slower on the feet. I just don't think the gas tank is going to be there for him in this fight. I think Yuri Prohoshka is going to look really good. Going to be riding off that momentum of his last fight. Mentally, I don't think he's going to, Deter deteriorate from um, the light kicks from Pereira. You didn't see that in the first fight. You didn't see that against Rakic. Came back against Rakic and, and KO'd him. I think he's riding a really good wave of momentum. He seems ready for this fight. Been training. You, you can tell he's been training quite a bit. I'm going to have to go with Yuri here. How he wins, I'm going to say a late. I think it's going to end probably in the same round that 
the first fight did, probably in the second round. Whether it's taking down Pereira, who's already pretty tired, and Yuri just lands some ground and pound shots. But the thing with Pereira is whenever you take him down, he always kind of finds his way back up. Like, no one has really submitted Pereira at all. Like, you can say his takedown defense is what it is. Like, it looked better in the second round against Yuri Prohoshka than it did in the first round because Yuri took him down pretty easily. But he always kind of works his way back up no matter what, which I will say, good props to Pereira. I, I know... I think he has a black belt in jiu-jitsu now, weirdly enough. But he trains with Glover, so he knows how to get back up to his feet. But, man, I, I think whether it's Yuri taking him down in the second, ground and pounding him, or it's first round, takes down Alex Pereira. Alex Pereira works his way back up. Second round, he he maybe gets hit with a, a decent shot by Pereira, shoots in, gets the takedown. Pereira gets back up and is super tired. And I can see Yuri Prohoshka catching Pereira when he's trying to circle out with um, Yuri pressing him up against the fence because you saw that happen in their first fight as well. With Yuri's head movement actually looked pretty decent. And that was with him with, what, a year off? Maybe a little bit more? So him with the momentum, um, I don't think he came out with too many injuries from his last fight. I don't think both of these guys came out with any injuries from their uh, last fight. But I'm trusting Yuri here. This fight can go either way. I like both of these guys equally, I will say. <laughs> Uh, their first fight kind of I, I don't know why I thought the fan bases were kind of in like the same pool I thought they both rooted for each other but I guess there's fake samurai and real uh native <laughs> native Indian for uh Alex Pereira there was that whole thing but I'm really looking forward to this fight I think the odds will probably be relatively split I wonder what other people are going to be picking here but I am going to go with Yuri Pahaska by TKO in the second round. I like him in this fight. I think this short notice benefits him a little bit more. I think they will run back a trilogy probably by the end of the year, maybe in December. I don't mind because Alex Pura did say he wanted some time off. I can imagine Zonka Live wants to fight in Abu Dhabi so bad. Get him a fight with like Rockage or something in Abu Dhabi. Figure something out there and maybe you can have uh, Uncle Live kind of chill there in the background waiting for a his next fight because he wants to fight in Abu Dhabi so much. So figure out then. I think this fight goes to a, a trilogy ending up in December, but I am going to go Yurpahashka second round CKO. Let me know who you guys have down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.